Hi folks, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. Um, this is a video to any journalist, any academic, any politician out there who's willing to take the time to watch this video. And I just ask you to um, take it seriously, especially if you are in MI5 or any um, secret service. Uh, I would ask you to watch this video and to think about what I'm saying. I believe uh, in democracy and I believe in the importance of everybody using public space and getting on with each other. So whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you are gay, whether you are Chinese, whether you are Japanese, whether you are a Christian, a Muslim, an atheist or a secularist, all of us have to get on and work together uh, and promote unity within uh, national discourse. And if we do not respect each other then the political process breaks down and one of the ways things break down is when we begin to demonize people and I'm reminded in the time of Rwanda genocide the demonization of the enemy was cockroaches one group called another group cockroaches and it was that word cockroaches believe it or not which was at the heart of the demonization of people in Rwanda and you would see the opposing tribe going round saying where are the cockroaches and then they would kill them, massacre them you see people had been dehumanized because of the demonization language now a new movement the last 10 years has come uh, the new atheist and they have used demonizing language they have said, such as Richard Dawkins, and we're going to see video clips of Richard Dawkins, a video clip of Richard Dawkins later, and he is demonizing people of faith as child abusers if they teach their children and name their children as Christian children and teach their children uh, six day creation. Uh, we're going to see a clip of Christopher Hitchens demonizing people of faith as people of faith poison everything and then we're going to see a clip of Sam Harris who is saying and has been saying that people of faith are dangerous and then we're going to see a clip of Thunderfoot uh, an atheist on YouTube who is constantly demonizing people and religions in his uh, video which we're going to see now whenever people start to demonize another group there's a danger of violence on that group you know it's like uh, people who are called fags uh, who are gay and they're called fags or faggots and things like that that kind of language puts gay people in danger of violence and there are communities and groups around the world that give gay people demonizing language and then the gay people experience violence uh, it's happening in some African countries at the present time it's even happened in London recently um, so we need to stop people from using language of demonization and tragically in the West we've allowed the new atheists to come in and use extreme demonization of language and that is preparing Western democracies for violence because in the next 10 to 20 years people of faith will be so demonized that people will look at people of faith as not being human just like the tribes in Rwanda told, said about other tribes they were cockroaches and then the people saw those tribes who were cockroaches as not being human and so massacre and genocide ensued and it's this kind of demonizing language Christians are child abusers Christians are, are poison everything Christians are violent these are in major text of the atheist movement it's that kind of language that will prepare the way for violence and even genocide against Christians in 10 to 20 30 years time if Western academics Western journalists Western public servants do not step up to the mark and say this kind of language is not acceptable 
in a democracy. I'm not calling to take people's free speech away. Atheists have a right, new atheists have a right to critique religion. I'm not saying that they shouldn't have free speech. All I'm saying is that there are atheists who are normal, average human beings, but then there are new atheists who are constantly using a demonizing rhetoric and it's subversive and it's dangerous and if we want to avoid violence on religious people in the next 10 to 20 to 30 years time we need to challenge this demonizing language and we need to ask people to respect each other respect each other's beliefs respect each other's opinions now throughout this film what you're going to see is a slice of uh, the Second World War rhetoric. You're going to see clips interspersed with the New Atheist, a clips of Nazis. Now, I'm not saying the New Atheists are going to be Nazis, but what I'm saying is the Nazis used demonize, demonizing language for a number of years, 10 to 15 years, of demonizing uh, Jewish people, demonizing them with words. And then the words turned into action. And it was because of this demonizing language that Jewish people were not seen as human. And then it led to their genocide. So you might think this film is extreme. Uh, that's okay. But if you think it's okay to demonize people of faith, if you think it's okay to demonize Christians, then you're going to be responsible for future violence on Christian people because they will not be seen as human beings but they will be seen as people open to attack because they're not human because they've been demonized with this demonized language Dawkins says in his clip in this video Christians are child abusers Hitchin says Christian religious people are violent uh, are poison everything and Sam Harris says that Christians and religious people are dangerous and Thunderfoot shows not just a lack of respect but a, a sense of demonizing people of faith and if you think that's acceptable in a Western democracy then so be it on your head I have tried to warn people about this new atheism I have come under threats I have come under blackmail and I am making this last video this is a press release to the people, the Western academics, and to journalists in the West, and to policymakers in the West, and to YouTube, to sit up and listen. If you want violence to come to religious people in the next 10 to 20, 30 years' time, then don't listen to this video. But if you want to protect everybody's rights, atheists and Christians, and if you want to promote unity within your democracies, then watch this video and think about the question is it right to demonize anybody even people of faith thank you for listening